All right, so we are right back in the match. As promised, thank you so much for your patience. It's going to be Dav versus Destroyer. Hishkuten versus Kobajitsu. Now, I, I feel like this is a good choice by Dav. Uh -huh. I mean, if there's anybody who gives Hishkuten a problem, it's Tanya. Tanya because gives, I'm sorry to interrupt, but pretty much everyone a problem. Oh, no, absolutely. But especially Hishkuten because Hishkuten has infamously bad armor. Yes, he does, which we just saw right there getting stuffed immediately. And just like just like that, it is so hard for Hishkuten to get Tanya off of him, Kobujutsu specifically, once she's got in. That's a destroyer now opting to zone out a little bit, which is a good decision. Oh, nice little cancel there into a mix-up. Nice, All yeah. cross-up. Destroyer going into some mix-ups. Now, Hishkuten has a lot of strings that kind of go into overheads and loads, and it's really hard to see them because it just goes so fast. But Dab doesn't care because he's just going to armor right through. <laughs> nice, man. Oh. Alright, creating a little bit of space. Now, that downpour is so good at creating space. Yes, it is. Especially canceled with that low laser. That is one of the right. best tools that Hishkuten has. Or he can cancel it into his disc. I mean, he can do a lot of things with that downpour. Oh! Ooh. Now, that is two teleports that he's actually done wow. the dive out of the corner. I don't understand. I mean, that must be a mistake, but maybe it's some tech. Maybe I just don't know. Alright, so Destroyer successfully keeping Dab out almost that entire round. Alright, here we go. Right into a combo and the corner. This is a really good situation for Destroyer. Oh, armor too. We've seen Dab successfully get through with armor every time. I wonder if Destroyer is actually going to catch on to that. Should be a big corner combo. Nice. Lands the full... Ooh, doesn't go into a launch, though. But he did land the full cancel combo. Now, he's Ten Predator does, on top of having really good lasers, he's got laser oh. cancels, which allow him to do further combos and increases his pressure. And there's that armor we're talking about. Not able to get it out. And Dab is going for the overhead low mix-up in the Rekas. Ooh, nice. Big... Big chance. Oh, Dab puts himself in the corner. Why? Oh, great duck on the laser, but it's so hard to whiff punish them. They recover so fast. This is completely unbiased commentary, I swear. Oh, oh. just enough chip. Yeah, I knew Dab had it all along. I wasn't worried. <laughs> that was extremely close. If, that was if close. he had 1% more life right there, that would not have chipped him, and then he could have chipped Dab out. That was yeah. a really, actually, there's a really good just knowledge of how much damage you deal and how much life the opponent has, yeah, just and, based on the meters. And Destroyer was doing a really good job of actually just keeping Pain Dab in the corner. Run. Yep. Defend. And he was playing with, like, we're talking about that down four. He was getting him with the cancel. Oh. Getting him with the cancels and, you know. Yeah, I mean, the pressure it was, and the it was zoning, there. All of it. I mean, that was extremely close. That was literally chip life down yep. to the wire. So Dab able to take that first game. And we're going to see, does he only play Hishku 10? Because, I mean, that's all we've heard. To be Maybe honest, he has I don't a, know. a pocket scorpion? Maybe. Pocket Quan? You know, I, I, I'm interested to see if he plays any other variations. Because Hunter Predator was a variation that was talked about a lot. Especially when and it season does one Champ Sonic Fox was a playing A lot it. of damage. Oh, yeah. Even, I mean, it got nerfed a little bit. But still, the damage is ridiculous. still do like 50, 55%. Oh, yeah. And, and really hurt your opponent. Put them in, in really messed up situations that they don't want to be in the setups with the with the trap, also with the disc, the incoming overheads, the low. The, it's it's yep. a mess. You have to just traverse through this obstacle course of and then if you do get predator in, technology. It's good because it doesn't have armor, but if you don't get in and you're stuck in the trap life, it's, it's awful. It's absolutely awful. Oh, yeah. But, you know, uh, maybe we'll see it. Maybe some warrior. I doubt it, but... Y you know... Is it me, or does is that variation just not explored? Uh, I mean, I personally haven't seen anybody use Warrior Predator in tournament. Right. My my question, I, the reason I ask that is because it seems like Predator has a lot of really good tools. The instant overhead that comes in to you know bait projectiles, get combos started. It's almost like a dive kick. Actually. It is almost like a dive kick. He can meter burn it as well. And on top of that, I mean, he has the 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 bomb. It, you know, there are actually a lot of really cool setups with the bomb. Is I mean, there? Okay. As soon as he sets up the bomb, he gets to set up a essentially meterless 50-50 for over 40% damage just off of the bomb. So my question itself. is, are people not using him because he's difficult to play or because his other two variations are just better? Because I, I want to know why we aren't seeing a lot of Warrior. Yeah, I mean, that's a great question. Uh, we, I mean, honestly, there aren't too many Predator, Predator mains players. just yeah. in general. I mean, we have... 
Burger King from Yomi. We have Burger King. And not too many others. I mean, I believe Jer from Canada switched to Predator recently. Okay. We had Chaotic Armor, but he switched off. So, I mean, really there aren't too – I know I'm probably going to miss somebody out there really important. Right. And I apologize, but uh, I'll chat you out next time. <laughs> but, you know, we just don't see too many Predator mains. That's something that we see happen a little bit often with DLC is we don't – you know, people learn a lot of the early characters – and then slowly, it takes it takes a little bit longer for them to learn the DLC characters, right. just because you know naturally they were released later in the game's life. So I mean, I would like to see a warrior predator come out of the woodworks and just completely obliterate some people, yep. but we may never see it. Hopefully, but I do hear that we are moving on. Oh, we are going to gonna be moving on. An exciting match.